I'm going to show you very quick how to do traffic engineering Cisco SD-WAN. Just look at my diagram right now. We have three uh, spoke size, spoke size three, spoke size four, spoke size five, and it are DC size. DC size has two V edges, one and two. Each has two circuits to in internet and PLS. What I'm going to show you is from the spoke size perspective, we're going to make only preference over the VH1. We're going to only accept the VH1 routes from the OMP. That is saying we're going to make all the T-locks on the VH1 a preference over the VH2. So we only accept from the spoke size perspective, we're going to use VH as our preference. We're going to make one route as example. It's the route, uh, route back route 10.1.0.16.32 in the DC site, which is our site 12. Hop very quick to our VM manager. We have six up V edges. Gonna jump to monitor and network. I'm gonna pick V edge three in size three. Jump to trap shooting. Go to simulate flows. We're going to simulate a VPN1 and find our source interface to this um, route in the DC. Click Simulate. Now, our VHS3 has four TROX to go to uh, this route, uh, 32, 32 routes in the DC. One T-Log goes to uh, VH2 for internet, and the route goes to VH2 as well, this is for MPLs. The third T-Log is to the VH1 over the internet. The last one is MPLs, also to VH1. So we're going to make sure a preference over on size 3 on the spoke side to choose the T locks on the VH1. That's the traffic engineering we're gonna do in this video. All right, let's go to configuration and the policies. We're gonna add a centralized policy. Click next. We're gonna add a custom control route and T lock. First, we're gonna add a T lock, T lock sequence, rule number one. We're going to say originator from our VH1 system IP, which is 10.12.0.1. And we're going to first accept it. And we'll make a preference of 10. Save it as rule number one. And we're going to add a rule number two. This time we're going to add a site. We're going to say, OK, we're going to use uh, VH2 site uh, in the site 12. Also, we're gonna okay, we're gonna accept the route uh, T rocks also, but we're gonna make VH1 a preference 10. Then we're gonna to accept all of the site from spokes. T locks for spokes. That's our rule number three. Also, we're gonna for the routes, we're gonna add a route number one is um, to accept the outer routes from the hub site, of course. We're gonna accept the routes from the hub site, and also uh, we're gonna Separate routes from all the spoke sites, spoke size three to five. Name it the 
control a uh, customer control policy as a T log preference and save control policy. Click next. Uh, click next. We're gonna first add our inbound size list for hub and spoke and click add and we'll name it policy policy one and click save flat we're gonna activate we're gonna pause the video tell us that applied all right the policy has been successfully applied i'm gonna jump very fast so on vi3 we're gonna show ip routes vpn 1.10.1.0.16 now what you're gonna say see is the two t logs from only vh1 now we know it's going to the T log IP, assistant IP on VH1. We're going to show OMPT logs IP 10.12.0.1, which is the VH1 assistant IP. We're going to see that preference 10 showing up on this T log VH1. On this both internet circuits and MPL circuit. For more intuitive, we're going to hop over to the V manager. It's the same drawer. You're going to go to the network, pick VH2, 